Right guys, this is Evil Robbins, uh, doing another arcade video. So, uh, yeah, here we've got the Video Master. Looking a little bit sorry for itself today, because it's um, missing a few little bits. Um, that's because, during the week, I was able to pick up one of these. Which is a Killer Instinct 2 dedicated cab. So, all the bits from the Video Master have been shuffled across into this for the time being. So, we can give it a good working over, give it a bit of a play, as it's got the... Uh, Six button layout and a lot of space so we can play a couple of fighters on there. Um, so we've stolen the coin door, the eye pack, the speakers, the power switches, the monitor, pretty much everything. Uh, I think the only thing we didn't steal was the original speakers, which are still the Killer Instinct ones that came with it. So they're pretty hefty speakers and quite loud. So quick walk around the side here. So we've got almost pristine artwork on the side. Notices this little blemish here, which isn't too bad. T moldings all need replacing on this side and this side because they're all a bit, a bit worn out, and the artwork on that side is pretty much pristine as well. Um, so, yeah, like I say, it's a six button layout on this one for the start. Good joysticks, these are eight way joysticks. These actually came with this cab. Um, I've stripped them, refurbished them, done a lot to them, so these are almost as new now. Or as good as new as you can get them. So pops this up. A little bit different to the video master, it pops forward. So a keyboard and mouse in there. And all the wiring for all six buttons all goes down to the end of the original kit harness. So the whole thing's removable. And we have the eye pack down here, which needs to be bolted down from the video master. You can just about make out the PC, PC power supply, and a whole bunch of cables that are still in there. And uh, the reason the cables are still in there is some of the original power, power cables still exist in this cab uh, because I'm going to uh, put a video uh, screening from an a arcade machine in this. So you can see this is at the minute this is an LED, uh, LCD, sorry, on a the cutout background that I had on the Video Master cab. Because the bezel's so much bigger on this, you can open this a lot more. Um, so what we're going to do is try and get hold of a 27 or 28 inch arcade cabinet, a monitor, and put it in this. So yeah, that's one of my pickups. And the main reason Mortal Kombat 2 is playing on this cabinet in a minute is because my other pickup was a dedicated Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet. So this one's not in quite as good condition. You can see on the artwork, okay, you've got a big scratch all the way across. A little scratch here. It's all fixable, nothing bad about it. Uh, neither of these two cabs have backs, so this part here is just open space. And so I need to get some extra MDF, spray it and cut it. Or cut it and spray it. Uh, but around the front, we've got the artwork on the front of the control panel. The control panel artwork is okay underneath this plastic, um, but it's a bit burnt just on the plastic. So, provided I can get the security screws out okay. We can lift the plastic off, get new plastic cut, and we'll have a pristine control panel. The only thing that's different about this control panel that I've not seen on Mortal Kombat cabs before is, rather than saying high kick or low kick or block, it actually has a picture of what the character will do. So you've got jump, crouch, high punch, and all the rest of it. The way this cab gets a bit different is, uh, I'll just step over here a bit so you can see, that's a bezel move list for one of the Tekken series. And at the top of the bezel, you've got moves and extra buttons that were new in Tekken 3. And we have a marquee for Tekken 3. So at the minute, it's half Mortal Kombat, half Tekken 3. So on this side, the artwork is almost gleaming. There's one big bit missing on this side. Rather than having scratches going all the way across, this has got one big bit here. But all in all, it's not too bad. Um, I may get it re-side arted. Uh, I think main marquees can ship over here and... As long as I give them the right dimensions, but we can put brand new artwork on the sides. Uh, this one has got its own coin doors, but no coin max. So, it's a bit more original on the front than the Killer Instant 2 cab. The reason different being the, the Killer Instant 2 cab is in generally better condition. This one has a tube in it, which I believe is hand tracks, or hand tracks, um, but no control chassis. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a control chassis is, 
this is the monitor that was in the Kill Instant 2 cabinet. Uh, this is dead at the minute. I'm not sure if it's the tube or the control board. This is the chassis board. Um, so it's like it's basically the inside of your TV. And uh, you have a few pins here for power and a few pins here for video out and such. Um, this basically turns what your PC's got into a picture. Um, at the minute, like I say, this board's dead, or possibly the CRT's dead. Um, so I managed to find a guy on the web that might be able to sort me out some nice new monitors for both of them. So hopefully we'll have them both up and running soon. Um, so yeah, that's my quick update. So here's the KI2 camera on its glory. Plain Mortal Kombat 2, but that's over there. Um, yeah, as for the video master, the video master will be coming back. Um, once we've got all the bits and bobs screen-wise for this one, all the kit will get shuffled back across into this one, and we'll keep this as a secondary cab. This will be our main main cab, and I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do in a Mortal Kombat 2 cab at the minute. I may keep it for a while, I may do it as a dedicated, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, yeah, that was my update. Um, as always, drop me a comment, drop me an email, rate, <laughs> rate as much as you can, uh, and enjoy the new YouTube layout. Um, catch you guys later. In a bit.